All right, guys, what we doing today? Uh, we are picking the bottom block for Cam. Um, I blew up his motor last time, so I owe him a head, got him a head, and I need to give him a bottom block. So we're here at C's Machining, and we're got, getting his um, bottom block honed down to uh, board out to uh, oversize. So hopefully uh, that looks good. Hopefully everything everything look good on the bottom block, so we're going to go check it out right now. All right. This machine shop It's called C's Machining, and... Uh, this, we've been using them for a while now so they're pretty good so we're back at the garage stuck in my car he was busy didn't want to bother him uh, but he got a lot of projects going on so I didn't want to bother him so now we're at the garage now we got it back on here and uh, this is how it looks like so oversized Just bare, bare block nothing what I did told him to do is kind of drill in a little bit so it could be smoothed out. So just drill it a little bit bigger from here. That's what he did. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into this and actually make it smoother so the oil passageway will be so smooth. So then when VTEC hit, so, so you see how it has a dip right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that down follow that down so it's like a 90 degrees angle I don't know if you guys could see it but it's a 90 degrees angle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a follower and follow it down so just it's almost like it's almost like the head poured and polished but I'm gonna do it with all the all the VT, uh, all the oil canals so um, that's what I usually do and uh, yeah it came out clean see that that cross that cross uh, action uh, that's what we want that's what we want, like that. Cross hatchet. What you always want to do is when you get the block back, you want to always oil it. What I, this is my secret ingredients. I kind of, it's like basically thick oil, basically, but I made it super thick. So then it could stick to the walls much better, so. And then what you want to do is you want to just stick some on there, see how thick it is. So you want to stick it on there and actually just put it around so it won't rust up while we're, while we're doing this. Because any spots it could actually rust. So make sure you oil and lube it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get the bearings for this and uh, all the bearings are different so each block is different so you have to look at this number right here on a letter so this is D D C D D so meaning is D D C D D so in this case we have to I'm using a different crank that has been balanced and we're gonna look at that crank and it has a number on it and we're gonna match these numbers to that numbers and then we're gonna measure it to see if it's if it's correct and then we're gonna buy the bearings and if not we probably have to go oversized but Here's what I want to show you guys what I usually do to all my blocks to actually try to make it a little bit quicker. It's not really about being quick, it's more of efficiency. So what I do is see these like holes right here? This is for the breather, right? Um, this is for the breather, this is for the breather. You see how the bolts is like, when you see how it's just, it's just, it's like, it's nothing, it's like there's like little pieces right there. Um, little pieces right there around the edges and then um, same thing with this it's like little small pieces like that what I do is I take a Dremel and actually go in and actually Dremel that out right there so I can make it bigger so just for breathing purposes I just I just like to do that so I don't know if you guys can see it but usually that hole right there is usually like one third block by something going up. So in this case, I grind it all down and it's all really smooth. You'll see it once you take it out. This is how it looks now. It's like, it flows in. It just, it just flows in much smoother. Here is the marking. This is how you could tell if you're uh, what kind of main bearings you need and uh, the marking is here on the block I'll show you and then this is all the numbers 
So that tells you for the crank. Since we're using a different crank and we're using a different block, we have to go to Honda and actually buy the right main bearings for it. And this is the, the chart to buy the right main bearings for it. And um, I'm gonna show you how to put these numbers together. So all those numbers from the first one. So it's this number right here. Same thing. You look at it, it says D, D, C, D, D. What does that stand for? It's D, D, C, D, D. So we write that down. And here's the diagram for the main journal. So we're gonna go look for these. So we wanna look for numbers. So this one is gonna be number two. Two will be for this one. So since that one's from the crank, we put two right here. And then we're gonna look for another number, which is right here. This one's two, so this one's for this one. So from the crank, another two. And then, let me see, we're gonna look for one that is right here. Two, right here. See it, two, and this one's for this one. So that's the middle, so we put two here. Then we're gonna look at this one. It looks like this one is, says three. So this one is, no, so, no, I'm sorry. This one right here is three. This one's right here is three. And then we need this last one. So we're gonna look, and it's right here. This one says three, so we got three. And that is all the code that we need from the flywheel to the, that's all the bearings we need from the flywheel to the crank. Let's look this up and tell me what I need. But what you wanna do is you wanna get a D3. So, so you go three right here, and then you go D, so it's black. So this one will be black. Since we already know what's D3, we go black. We don't know what's D2. So D2 would be two, D, the brown, brown, and you don't know what C2, so we're gonna go find two, and C is green. So we need two black, two brown, and green. So I'm gonna call the dealership. I'm gonna ask them for two black, two brown, and one green. So easy guys, this number. So this is gonna be a letter. It don't follow by another letter. If there's a letter, it's gonna follow by a number. So it's gonna follow by a number right here. So that's the number two. This B is gonna be for this rod right here. And it's funny so so let's say this so so on the on the block it says D so it has to be a number so so this is the number all right so that's for here so but what's this B for this B is actually for these rods like see uh, this is C for this rod um, this is B for this rod and this is B for this rod so so, so what I'm trying to say is if you need rod bearings and you want to call Honda, you, you look up B and then you go to your rod and then uh, you go to your rod and you go look at the numbers on it and this one it will be happen to be a number number three. So it's gonna be B three. Hope you guys understand. All right, give a thumbs up guys.